Welcome back, adventures. Welcome back. So, I found this game. It's called Little Kingdom Adventure. And uh, check this map out. So, I've been wanting to make a map, a world map like this, for the longest time. But the Epic Wings series is just such a big series, and it's like a more. It's like a like a they're big games but this is i've been wanting to make a small game like this you know like a world map like look at this this is beautiful i love this i, I was thinking about making like epic wings little which is or pocket edition which w like for android but it can also be played for pc but like this is my this is r some seriously beautiful inspiration right here for uh, me to be able to like do a project like this because look at this it's so adorable and beautiful I love it absolutely amazing look at the graphics yo awesome job with this game absolutely awesome so uh, this is what the nerd mansion does we look at pictures and then we decide is this game good enough to be played in the channel and all games are good enough to be played for the channel if you reach out but if you don't reach out then I'm gonna be looking at screenshots first and then deciding if I should play this game or not and the screenshots here are gorgeous so we are gonna be playing this game yo we are gonna be playing this game okay first let me compliment on the music wow I am astonished like this is incredible right here this is truly beautiful the music is just oh man just give it a second because it wrote the it just it looped right now but if you give it just a second it gets better and better and better man so uh while we wait for that little um, section of uh, the music, because it's good, but it gets better, I want you to, I want you guys to um, check this out for a second. So, in this game, you will travel to the land of Mistvale in search of three magic orbs. So that's what it is. This game is made in RPG Maker VX Ace. Package an entire adventure in a tiny area. Teeny tiny area. Yeah. Where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, here I am. Okay, so let's freaking do this, right? Darkness surrounds you. You feel as though you are floating. The last thing you remember is your ship sinking beneath the waves. It was nothing more than a twist of fate. Having been caught in a fierce storm, you feel as though you, your consciousness is fading in and out. Your mind is in is lost in a haze. You try and remember something, anything, anything to keep a grasp on consciousness. You focus on yourself. As long as you do not forget who you are, you should be able to stay connected to the world around you. Two images arise to the front of your mind. One is the form of yourself. One is the form of your sibling. Which one is the form that belongs to you? Male. Plus HP, minus MP, plus attack, plus defense, minus attack. Magic attack minus magic defense, agility plus minus luck. And the female is the opposite. So the female uh, is like uh, the male is more learn supportive magic more quickly. Wait, what? Learns offensive magic more quickly. Okay. So they both learn magic. But uh, one is more physically inclined and the other is more 
magically inclined. And, uh, you know, whenever I start an MMO, I always go with the warrior because I like the swords, you know, big swords and stuff, shields. So, uh, lately I've been going with the ma magicians, mages, summoners and stuff, but, uh, warrior class is my style, so we're gonna go with the male. The face of this young man. Is this the face reflected in the mirror of your soul? Yeah, you recall your own appearance and recall the appearance of your sister as well. Thankfully, your sister was not abroad aboard the ship when it sank. She should be safe elsewhere. Good to know. But despite recalling who you are, you can still feel yourself slipping away. What else can you do to keep yourself from fading away into darkness? That was a good way to... Uh, Ask the player if they are uh, male or female. <laughs> you focus on the only other thing you can recall in this moment, your name. What is the name of this young man fading into the darkness of the sea? Okay. My name is... Nerd. Nerd boy. That's right, your name is Nerd boy. <laughs> so long as you keep your form and name in the front of your mind, you should be able to retain consciousness. And yet, you feel yourself fading away. You hear voices in the distance. You can feel yourself being pulled out of the water. But alas, you can no longer remain conscious. Time passes in the darkness. Your body rests and recovers. And eventually, you begin to open your eyes. You awaken in an unfamiliar bed. Rising to your feet, you observe the room around you. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. Can you walk? I think so. Um, I think so? Don't push yourself if it's too difficult, but if you can, please come closer. You're looking a lot better than you did when the sailors first pulled out, pulled you out of the water. We thought you were going to make it. Thought you weren't going to make it. How do you feel? A little lakey, but not terrible. That's good to hear. Just know that if you ever feel like taking a rest, you can use our beds here, free of charge, as often as you like. I couldn't imagine taking money from someone who's just recovered from nearly drowning. At any rate, I actually have a message for you. Word about the shipwreck survivor has spread quickly around Mistvale. That's where you are, by the way. And even the king is aware of what happened to you. And would you believe that the king himself wishes to speak with you? It's true. Why, he even had a messenger bring this letter here. Obtain the king's letter. You place it in your valuable bag. If you're feeling up to it, I would recommend uh, going to visit the king at Miss Vale Castle as soon as possible. It's not far, just immediately to the west of town. But if you plan on heading out, please be careful. There are fierce monsters that roam the land. If you are unprepared for battle, you could be seriously injured and all of the uh, all of the recovery you've been uh, through would be for naught. Speaking of being prepared for battle, a few items were found on or near your person when you were rescued here. Go ahead and take them. Receive 3 healing herbs and 100 gold coins. You place them into the bag. Off you go then, and please be safe. Alright, so... Found 24 gold. You place them in the uh, coin bag. You examine the drawers. Found 20 gold coins. You place them into the coin bag. 
first of all, let me go ahead and congratulate this developer on the small, small, small map. It's beautiful. And so I can tell, you know, we're walking into the, the inn. There's no teleportation scene. You just, you go here and you're inside the inn. And then you go in here and then you're inside the the weapon shop you go in here and you're inside the magic magic shop and then you go out here and you're outside I love it and these graphics are beautiful that old man right there that is not I don't that doesn't look like VX RTP it looks like the old man the RTP from the old man for VX but it looks like it's been improved. Like it just looks much, much nicer. It, it, it kind of looks like we took chibi characters and we made them even more chibi. I love it. I love it. This is definitely not VX style. Well, this is VX style chibi even more. But these characters are different. They, these characters are definitely not from the VX RTP. They are much, much more polished. Much more chibied out. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Let's take a look at the menu. So, uh, the menu. We got items. We Okay, we got, a, we got a simple menu going on. King's letter. A letter from the king summoning you to Miss Vell Castle. Okay, that's cool. Magic from Nerd Boy. Okay, we got no magic. Status, let's take a look at our status. Of course, magic attack and magic defense are extremely freaking weak because we went with the warrior, which has five attack power right here. Five attack power. So... A young man who washes up on the shore of Missville after being in a shipwreck. So we don't have a save. So we're screwed if we die or anything like that. Hello there, child. It's uh, nice to see a fresh face around town. We don't get a lot of visitors, you see. I have heard that the king wishes to see you. It wouldn't do to make the king wait, would it? Just a sec, boy. I gotta find out what's going on. Hello there, and welcome to, to Miss Vale. I believe the king has been looking for you. You should go and see him at the castle. Oh, you're the one who sailors rescued, aren't you? I'm glad to see that you're alright. Welcome to the item shop. You must be the one that washed up near, washed up near here, yeah? I heard that the king was looking for you. Please browse my wares. And we got coin. Good, that, that, that's good. We got coin. Healing herb restores 20 HP. A potent potion made using medical herbs fully restores HP. Mana herb. Mana potion, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Anti blight, a potion made to heal various blights, removes poison, blind, and silence. Anti curse, a potion capable of curing any and all curses, removes all curses that reduce one's stats. Vile, vile. <laughs> Makes the user smell terribly when drank. Halves enemy encounter rates for 50 seconds. <laughs> wonderful! Wonderful! Oh my gosh! Every single item and its name has been very carefully considered about what should go onto this shop, the name of it, the description, and what it does. Very beautiful, very nicely done. And the amount of gold that we have for starting isn't zero, like if we were just barely born. Very nicely done, very nicely done. Let's 
Let's find out what this is. You've got a keen eye, I see. If you're carrying a life gem and fall in battle, it can save you from death and restore a little of your health to boot. Would you like to buy one? It'll cost you 200 coins. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Wait, I gotta find out what that does. Um, if you're carrying a life gem and fall in battle, it can save you from death and restore little of your he health to boot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're the one who said blah, 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 blah. Hey, I heard you washed up here after a shipwreck. Are you a pirate? Is your name Luffy? That'd be so cool. Anyway, I heard the king was looking for you. So you should probably go ahead and see them. See him. Hello there, stranger. I'm still setting a few things up for the day, so please come back later. Okay, that's pretty cool. So like they have like a um <clears throat> it's like a new day and he's setting up stuff barely. Very nice. Welcome to my humble home, young one. You have come here with the purpose of with a purpose, yes? Do you seek knowledge and direction, or do you seek to make a record of your journey so that you may return here if you were to fall? Nice! So this is where we get to save. Then close your eyes and allow me to etch your soul into the this point in time so that you may return here if your soul becomes lost in battle. Nice! Are you satisfied with the record you have made? I am certain that you are. Please return here if you are ever in need of my services again, young man. Awesome job. Awesome job. Everything is 100 here. Seek knowledge. You wish to know your future? Then allow me to gaze into the, my crystal ball. I see you making a short journey to a palace nearby. A castle, it seems. Is your next destination... The, ca the castle, it seems, is your next destination. There you shall speak with the king and he shall grant you new purpose. And that is all I can foresee at the moment. Please return if you are ever in need of services again, young one. Very nice, dude. We got our inn. Shop. Potions. Saving and progress report so this girl is basically it's our mission uh, what do you what do you call it mission log this is mission log right here that's freaking cool I mean yeah it could be in the menu but everyone places it in the menu I've seen other ga yes I've seen this done before where your progress log is located like somebody Somebody could tell. I think it like. Uh, um, there's a different game that like you. There's people walking behind you, your party members. You can talk to them, and they tell you where the your next mission is and stuff like that. But uh, there's different ways to do it, and the way this game does it is awesome. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. check everything out whoa oh snap tweeter emerged oh yeah <laughs> this song's freaking dope I think this is a a VX RTP song no this is an XP RTP song either way I love it Very nice. <laughs> Very nice, man. Very nice. Stinger emerged. 
Oh, we got the fence down. Let's look at the uh, our status. So to next x to next level is five more points XP points. Very nice, very nice, very nice. The uh, battle rate is extremely high, but but the map is really, really, really small. That is why the battle rate should be uh, higher than normal. Oh man, I'm getting wrecked. A powerful barrier of darkness blocks the way forward. Yes! Level two. Do we get do we get full HP once we go uh nope? Help! Help lady! We're about to die! <laughs> it's good to see you again, child. Good, 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 good. Just let me rest already. Okay. So uh <coughs> Attack is six now. And we got 25 HP now. Very nice. So I want to check what, what's over here also. Of course. Five damage now. The B moves back and forth. The cave is enveloped in darkness. It is impossible to see anything in front of you. Perhaps if you had a light source, it might be easier to navigate the cave. It would be best to leave here for now. So it lets us go in, but it shows us that it's dark and that's why. And then we have a little thing blocking this one. So basically, yeah, we got we got to go to where we're supposed to go, which is the castle. Slime. The slime is being playful. One XP. Pounces around nervously. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and I don't want to have a uh, twenty-two XP. I want to have all my, I mean HP, I want to have all my HP. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's freaking bounce. <clears throat> What's up, yo? Uh, there is a wealth of knowledge available to you within uh, the books of our library. Please feel free to browse our collection and read any book that you like. The treasure chest is locked. It doesn't look like you have any keys capable of opening it. Fine. Are you the person who had been uh, in that awful boating accident? It is good to see that you are doing well. My father, the king, wishes to see you. Yes, I realize that. Legends of Miss Bell. The book is heavily worn and it is hard to read. Most of it. Read this book? Yeah, sure. Throne, Demo, Ran, Ship, Guard, Trocious, Liant. What the? It is impossible to make out anything else. You place the book back upon the shelf. You know, for the sake of, uh,. This stream, I won't torture you guys with uh, reading, because even though I am having lots of fun, 
Um, we uh, do have to get on to the story. Hey, you are there. Hey, you there. You gotta get me out here. Why should I? I'm innocent, I tell you. I didn't do nothing. They locked me up in here and... Gah! Uh, if I tell you, they'll hang me for sure. But it's all a big misunderstanding, really. So you gotta help me out. If you ever come across the golden key on your travels, you can use it to open the cell door. Not to mention all those shiny red chests. Please, if you ever find a key like that, don't forget about me. I promise I'll make it worth your while to let me out. Place it into the item bag. Okay. Healing herb. You place it in the item bag. Found anti-curse. You place it in the item bag. Very nice. You examine the suit of armor, but you don't find anything of interest. Weapons on the table. Found an iron sword. What? You place it into uh, the equipment bag. What? No freaking way. <laughs> That's dope, man. That is absolutely sickening. You examine the shields on the table. You found a buckler. You place it into... What? No freaking way, man. Sick. If you're looking for a throne room, it's straight from the entrance of the castle. It's kind of hard to miss. Miss it. Definitely worth inspecting everything. What? No freaking way! You examine the suit of armor, but you see nothing of interest. Iron gauntlets? Oh man! We getting lucky! 42 coins! Yeah boy! You examine the suit of armor. You found a pair of iron boots. Place them in your bag. Suit of armor. You find nothing of interest. Okay, so we have to decide between defense or attack. We're gonna go with attack. <clears throat> ah, I see that you've awakened, young traveler. When I had heard that someone had been shipwrecked and had to be rescued, I became most worried. I am glad to see that you are in good health. If you do not mind me asking, what is your name, young traveler? Nerdpoy it is, is it? Well then, I am most pleased to make your acquaintance, nerd boy. I am not surprised that you survived such an ordeal. I can tell just by looking at you, you that you are quite strong indeed. Why, well, if it weren't for the fact that you have only just recovered from your injuries, I would have inquired whether you would be able to assist us with a little problem. What kind of problem? Oh no, I could not possibly ask such a thing of you. Not after you have been through such an ordeal su such a short time ago. I'll do anything I can to help. Just tell me what the freaking problem is, dude. Well, if you insist. <laughs> you see, our kingdom of Mistvale is but a small nation. In a small archipelago. We are quite far from the outside world, and so it would be difficult to call for aid from other nations. Currently, we are facing a most terrible threat. A fiend known as Viron. Viron is a horrible demon who commands a legion of monsters. His dark army has spread across the kingdom and uh, the lives of my people and the country are in great danger. But Viron is capable of summoning an infinite number of beasts to fight on his behalf. 
and thus the only way to subdue his army would be to kill Viran himself. However, uh, there is a easier said than done. This is easier said than done. Viran is quite powerful, and even my strongest champions have fallen to him and his army. And if that were not bad enough, he has locked himself up in his castle to, uh, to the southwest and sealed it with a magical barrier that no one can penetrate. Is there any way to break the barrier? Well, there is a way that one might be able to break the, uh, through Viron's barrier. The three magic orbs which have been enshrined in our lands for generations. The green orb, red orb, and blue orb, when brought together, could very well generate enough magical power to break the spell guardian guarding Viron's castle. But obtaining the orbs may prove to be difficult, as Viron is aware of their power and has sent some of his strongest minions to guard over them. And for that matter, each of the orbs is locked deeply within the most dangerous part of Archipelago. So just reaching them is a trial that few strong enough to undertake. But enough of this. These are the merely the mis musings of a poor old king who has failed his people. I could not possibly expect you, an outsider, to gather the orbs and defeat Viram for us. <coughs> it's like we have no choice. It's either yes or yes, basically, with every option that I've been given. I'd be happy to help, indeed. What? Are you certain? You simply must understand that Viron and his army are no pushovers! They will fight you every step of the way as you make your way into the depths of every cave and ruin in Misvale in search of the three orbs. It will be incredibly dangerous. I know that you are strong, but are you certain that you are up to the, this monumental task? Oh, gr this time they basically... <laughs> they didn't even say yes or yes this time. They're just basically like, yep. Like, they don't even... <laughs> They're just like, you're going to say yes. You got it? Oh no, man. This is the best. I love it. I love it. I love it. I thank you, nerd boy. If you are indeed as strong as you seem, then I have no doubt that our kingdom is in good hands. Remember, your task is to find all three orbs and use them to break through the barrier, Guardians Viron's castle. Once you have obtained all three, please return here and speak to me before attempting to break the barrier and storm Viron's castle. That will help you prepare for battle then. In the meantime, I will allow you to full, full permission to travel anywhere within my kingdom, and I will let everyone in town know that you are aiding us and tell them to aid you in your quest. I strongly recommend taking some time to visit the shops in town as they will likely provide you with many useful goods. I also recommend visiting the town's fortune teller. She may be able to guide you in the right direction, and I have heard rumors that she is even able to record your progress. No freaking way, dude! Oh. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh no, this guy's. Oh man. As for which orbs you should seek first, I suspect that the easiest to obtain would be the green orb, which is said to be located in. A cave to the southeast island. <clears throat> Exploring this cave will no doubt be perilous indeed, but I have faith that you have you can overcome any trial. Oh, and before you leave, I would like to bestow upon you a f few gifts to aid you in your quest. R received 100 gold coins, 3 healing herbs, and 2 mana herb. You place them into the bag. Now, Go forth, nerd boy. We are all counting on you to collect the three orbs and defeat Viron. Let's freaking go. What's up, dog? Have you found the golden key yet? You gotta hurry up and let me out of here. 
That's definitely gotta be a party member right there. Definitely gotta be a party member. And what is this? Like, I have a feeling... Da -na 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 -na. Seven damage. You can see the remains of a broken bridge floating down in the water. It is it seems impossible to cross like this, but perhaps there may be some way to repair it. The forest it is. The cave is enveloped in darkness. It is impossible to see anything in front of you. Perhaps it would be Okay, yeah. Okay, so obviously we gotta go there next, but... Um, we probably have to go back to town. A tall pillar of ice blocks the way forward. If you had some sort of tool, it may be possible to destroy it. Okay, so th the battle rate is too high even for this little map. At least, you know, yeah, I understand it needs to be high because this is a really small map. But if we were to increase the amount of time that we're able to walk by just a little bit more, you'd have the perfect balance. Let me see. Welcome, welcome. With, uh, seek knowledge. You wish to know your future? Then allow me to gaze into the crystal ball. I foresee you traveling to a place to the southeast. A place cloaked in the deep darkness. If one wishes to find their way through a maze of shadows, one first produce some form of light. I foresee you finding the light you need, and one wouldn't look far to find it. You would not find such an item in town, but perhaps the castle might hold what you seek. And that is all I can see. What, bro? This girl, man. That is like she. She basically, yeah. That's that's what. Oh, there's the light right there. You examine the lantern atop the table. Perhaps this lantern might be useful in navigating the cave and ruins to Mistvale. Take the lantern. Yeah. Obtain the lantern. It's not like we're gonna say no. Uh, you place it into the valuable bags. Bro, I'm telling you, this game is sick. I love it. Save progress. Let me see. Buy equipment. Whoa, dude. <sighs> Lucky ring? Hey Traveler, have you ever wanted to just smash something like barrels and stuff? It's really fun to just break things sometimes. And sometimes when you break stuff, there's items or gold inside. I bought. I doubt anybody will mind if you take it either. So go out and smash some stuff. Show me that. Show me what you've got. Why don't you go out and smash like eight smashable things? I bet you'll find lots of fun doing it. Once you smash eight things, come back and see me and I'll give you something cool. Really? Hello there. I have a somewhat odd question to ask you. Would you say that you are a curious person? Sometimes being curious can lead to finding exciting things in unexpected places. Sure, everyone knows that you can find treasure inside of chests and even inside of objects like barrels, but did you know that you can find treasure in other places too? If you were to go and inspect suspicious objects, who knows what you might be able to find? Hey, 
How about this? If you can find five treasures hidden in unexpected places, I'll give you a little something as a reward. Go out there and be as curious as a cat, inspecting everything that you can. Who knows what you might find? Dude! Every player has meaning in this game. You're going to be delving into the darkness dungeons of Mistvale, is that right? Did you know that there are numerous treasures to be found deep in the caves and ruins of the land? It said that someone hid all sorts of items, equipment, and gold in these chests, and they're free for everyone, every, anyone to take. Assuming that you can find them, that is. But you know what's even more mysterious? It said that some of these chests are red, and that these are rare boxes, just and uh, that these are rare boxes just might contain some of the most unique items in the land. Though I've heard that one needs some sort of special key to get into these rare chests. But don't get discouraged, if you can't open the red chests quite yet, you can still start with the brown ones. In fact, how about this, if you can go out there and open up to three of the brown chests, I'll give you something nice as a reward. So how about it? Amateur treasure hunter? Think you're up to the task? You definitely look like the kind of person that can do it. Once you've found three of the common brown chests, come back to me if for your special reward. Oh, so you can talk to them and you can see how many of the your the objectives that they're offering uh, you've accomplished or they're wanting you've accomplished. So, it looks like you've found zero of the common chests. Hmm, that's not very many chests. You should look harder. Try going down all of the side paths in the caves and ruins of Mr. Vale. I'm sure you'll find some more. Uh, you've found five hidden items. It seems like your curiosity has paid off. Isn't it fun to go searching for things in unexpected places? Here, take this in honor of your curious spirit dude that's a lot of gold right there that really is for this game at least very nice we place them into the gold coin bag uh, into the coin bag you know I bet you could find even more exciting things in hidden places if you look really hard how about this time you look for 10 hidden items so get back out there and find some hidden items in curious places I'd love to see what you managed to discover Very nice. Let's see here. I think you've sma I think you've smashed a grand total of five smashable things. Hmm, that's not enough. You need to get back out there and do some more smashing. Smashing is fun. Just let your inner monster out and break some more stuff like the freaking Hulk. Hmm, come on back once you've smashed at least eight barrels and pots, and I'll give you something cool. Very nice. So they update their missions every time. And they decide to give you even more rewards. Welcome to the item shop. If you plan on entering, blah 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 blah. Let's see what this old man says. Hello there, child. The king has tasked you with saving the kingdom, you say? How intriguing. Well, if you ever find yourself at a dead end, feel free to come and see me. I may be a free bull old man, but I used to be quite tough back in the day. I was a miner, you know, the best in the land. I may not be able to swing a pickaxe any longer, but I still know everything there is to know about mining. Perhaps that knowledge will be useful to you one day. Nice! How much more XP before we, uh... Okay. So, uh, we're at level 2. To next level is 16. So we'll be right back. After some grinding. Alright, so we are back and, uh... The character is level 3. So we did just a little bit of grinding. I don't want to push it too much because uh, then the game becomes boring if the enemies are too easy. So uh, yeah, we got a level 3 um, nerd boy now. We're going to go ahead and freaking go um, into this battle because uh, battles are fun. 
<laughs> oh no. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go into the freaking battle again because <laughs> battles are fun. <laughs> what the? A bat? So we got a bat this time. So I guess the enemies get updated the more. Uh, so leveling up was useless, I think, then. I'm gonna walk around and find out if there's different monsters now. Okay, because we we never got a bat. The whole time that we were walking around, we never got bats. That's interesting. Okay, so we still got the bees. Whoa, dude. These guys are hitting hard. Woo! We're gonna go heal. <clears throat> we are here and we're about to heal. And you know what? I just noticed something. Um, <clears throat> there are two freaking... I freaking knew it. Barrels right here. Found 16 gold. Found healing herb. What's up, dog? Let's see here. I think you've smashed a grand total of eight smashable things. Awesome! Looks like you really enjoy smashing stuff, huh? Uh, smashing stuff off, huh? I bet you found a lot of cool stuff, too. Well, I pr a promise is a promise. Since you managed to smash so many things, I'll give you a present. Received the leather cap. You place it into the equipment bag. You know, I've heard rumor that there might actually be a really hard to reach object that can sma that can smash somewhere in the kingdom. Wait, you know, I've heard rumor that there might actually be a really hard to reach object that you can smash somewhere in the kingdom. If you can smash that secret object, come back here and I'll give you another cool prize. Nice. So we got a leather cap now. Wait, let's uh... Good job, nerd boy. <clears throat> Keeps his distance, huh? gonna be vicious getting through this dungeon is gonna be vicious because uh, the super high battle rate the treasure chest contained 200 gold coins you place them into the gold coin bag pork emerged nice the graphics are just beautiful man That cute little piggy. <laughs> 8 XP, jeez. <clears throat> Treasure is locked. Rat emerged. Please don't poison me. Healing herb. Perfect. <clears throat> Bat emerged. Oh yeah? Tart 
20 HP, so we'll be at full HP, not a wasted point of uh, health potions and stuff. Battle balance is decent, it's good actually. Battle balance is very good. An earring, huh? <clears throat> earring. A curse resistant earring which prevents curses which reduce defense and magic defense. Nah. We good. The bat. You hear a rumble from nearby. Perhaps the path forward has opened. Nice. Before lies a pedestal with the green orb. Take the green orb from pedestal? Yes. Reach out to grab the green orb, but suddenly a monster attacks from behind. Dude! Pork General emerged. Let's freaking do this. Invokes healing magic that restores a small amount of HP. Strikes the enemy with a bolt of lightning dealing moderate magical damage. 12 damage! That's really good! Oh, dude! <laughs> he took me out! Alright, let's go there again. Alright, guys, we are back. I made it to the general dude again. And uh, I did grind a little bit, so I'm level 5 now. Check this out. Um, level 5. Level 5. So, uh... You know, let's uh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's let's hope he doesn't kick our butt again. Uh, yep, 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 yep. No. So we've got full HP. We gotta watch our HP. Volt. Seventeen damage. Nice. Ooh, he hits hard. Okay. Oh, where he's gonna hit even harder now. Jeez, Nerd Boy was victorious. 35 EXP gain received. Uh, 150 gold found. That's pretty good, right there. Shadow gloves. With the enemy defeated, you once again reach out to the to take the green orb from the pedestal. Up to obtain the cr uh, the green orb. You place it into the valuables bag. Now with the green orb in hand, you should report back to the king. Nice. Get out of my way, you little piggy! Yes! Wonderful. Um, save. Record progress. Close your eyes, young gentleman. Don't you tell me how to live my life, you.
Uh, do I have enough time for more? Oh, I gotta take a shower so I can go to church. Uh, um. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta call it because I gotta take a shower. Um, if I, I don't, I don't want to come back and then be like, give this game a completely different rating because I might, might have forgotten how good it is. And I, you know, so uh, let's give it the rating right now. That way I don't forget, I don't forget how good it is. Or I don't forget all of its features and stuff. So, um... Super awesome game. 5-5, five, five, but... Very high in counter rate. This isn't the rating, like the rating rating. This is a... We're gonna go here. Sheets. This game is called Little Kingdom Adventure. Let's talk about the mapping. Okay, so what do I think about mapping? Absolutely wonderful. The way you can just like, you, there's no teleport. To, I mean, if you if you have to teleport inside the building, like you do a transfer, a map transfer, then that's fine. And, that's fine and all. Like you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's very unique the way this developer did it because it, they're trying to work with small maps. And make just uh, put everything together just they're trying to come up with this small story small game small towns and the way they they even included the inside of every building inside that very same map where um, of the town that is very unique very interesting and it was done very nicely they accomplished their goal and they accomplished it with flying colors. I'm gonna go ahead and give mapping a 12. Very nicely done. Graphic details. I don't know where this developer got his graphics from. Could it have been from a, like, like this? This is definitely not. I don't see this being our. Uh, RPG Maker VX graphics because the VX graphics are chibi but they're squarish and these were like not squares this is like we took our we took RP uh, RTP resources and then we made them even more chibi and more rich in quality so uh, I don't honestly know where they got their resources from for this one but really nicely done with the resources man so uh, definitely not a 7 uh, for having only used RTP. That's especially because uh, um, what we played with, what we were given, and the, the monsters too. The little piggy, I've never seen that resource anywhere. And the bat, and the slime, and the bee. Like It's like you, we're taking RTP resources, but we're redrawing them. Um, specifically because I've seen the bee. I don't think I've seen the pig anywhere before um, or the bat. It's like we created our own resources. So congratulations if you did create your own resources. But if you didn't, um, then uh, very nicely done with finding those resources. Um, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because uh, they are rich resources. They are beautiful resources, but I mean, they're simple resources, beautiful and simple. I'm not going to go ahead and say, whoa, dude, we hired like 50 different artists to create the most freaking awesome graphics in the entire whole freaking world. They were beautiful and they were simple. That's what that's I like that very nicely done. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, battle balance. Oh man, battle balance. So um, battle ba Oh yeah, battle balance was good. Like uh, it's battle rate that I was like, oh my gosh, it's killing the game for me. But battle rate, battle balance was good. Even the boss, I freaking died once, dude. <laughs> he freaking wrecked me, man. Um, so uh, if the boss is too easy, then it's not going to be any fun. And uh, he was not easy. He was totally wrecking down on me. So very nicely done. I would have appreciated if he had a little bit more HP, you know. Made me work for my butter. But uh, definitely he did. I could tell the difference that he was much buffer. Had more HP, you know. Much, definitely stronger too. Um, he was wrecking on my HP and decreasing my defense and stuff like that. Very nicely done. We're going to go ahead and give the battle balance an 11. Because uh, also the side mobs, like the regular monsters and stuff. Very nicely done. Two hits and they're out. And then they don't do a lot of damage to me either so very good battle rate the battle rate needs to be slightly a little higher than your average game because it's such a small map but ooh, buddy we took it to the next level um so we uh the battle rate was extremely high at one point in time i was like oh my god just make I was like, just make this end. Just, uh, oh no, man. I was like, I can't do this. So, uh, battle rate was r too high. Too high. Um, it was, it was, the battle rate was high. It needs to be high for a map that small. Otherwise, you'll never get into a battle. So, uh, I would wish I could say a 10 because the battle rate is high, like the way it's supposed to be for a small map. But uh, it was too high, so we're gonna we're gonna dog it some points because the the battle rate was just ridiculous. Um, I'd say a nine, but uh, this game was so good that it deserves for everything in this game to be perfect in it, and uh, because that one thing, man, um, battle rate, battle rate, man, gotta work on that battle rate. Hard points on the battle rate. Because if it wasn't for Battle Rate, this game would go on to destroy, like, many categories. Um, plot. Very nicely done with the plot. You know, the three orbs, get to the monster, take him out. We gotta come up with a small plot for a small game in a small map. Um, with uh, not too many quests and stuff. And we nailed it, you know. Get the three orbs, fight the boss. Um, I don't know if there was actually a twist. Like, what if the king was actually the enemy or something like that? Um, but uh, as far as plot, very nicely done. Uh, music and sound effects. Oh, man. I haven't heard that battle music in a long while. Uh, rich resources. Um, I think they're... I don't know if they're VX or xp or i don't know where that battle music is from but very nicely done uh rich rich and detail and then uh when i'm walking around in the map very nicely done we're gonna go ahead and give that a 10. uh music and um for music and sound effects animations is your typical rtp uh didn't feel like anything was special about it so seven because beautiful, rich animations, animations that come with RTP. So uh, no effort into animation, just uh, using what we're given, which is beautiful. But um, that's about it. It's beautiful because uh, where's I mean, if we were to put a little bit more of effort and uh, maybe uh, change the cue of some of those animations or whatever, you know. But uh, not bad either, not bad. Entertainment. Oh yeah, definitely entertainment. I was eating every single bit of this, uh, the uh, story, the uh, how every, um, every character had something to give you, had something to do with the game. Wasn't just walking around being just part of the world, you know. Every character had detail. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. 
and uh, I get letting your character decide if they want to be uh, more magically inclined or physically inclined by giving or and letting them choose the uh, gender. Very nicely done. So uh, and then uh, the blocks, like uh, the barrels and stuff, getting to break them, and then uh, the achievements for being able to do all of that. I was entertained. And then the mechanics, of course. So uh, breaking things. That's a mechanic. Uh, the achievements and stuff. Like I uh, received one achievement. Like uh, I got one reward. And then that same character gives you. It says, okay, you've made it this far. What if you break five more of whatever. And I'll give you this next reward. And then just like, I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to keep going and stuff like that. But very nicely done. Uh, not being able to save, but having that um, fortune teller girl saving my progress, and also being the girl that see like sees into the future and tells me what I'm supposed to do next. Very nicely done. All those mechanics are gold. So uh, we're we're gonna go ahead and give this uh, game the nerd mansion score now. So this is twelve plus 10 plus 11 plus 8 plus 10 plus 10 plus 7 plus 11 plus 10 so 89 out of all categories so nine categories so this game gets a 9.8 very nicely done 9.8 this is an awesome game little kingdom adventure uh, let's talk about quality there was no grammar there were no glitches uh, no grammar issues no glitches no negativity of anything that i could possibly find when creating a game so this game definitely had its quality set up for victory uh, because yeah, I wasn't able to find any single issues with glitches, no grammar issues, no nothing. Very nicely done. And that's of course something that you can expect with a small game of this caliber. Because the less you have to work on a game, because less maps, less NPCs, that means less room for mistakes. So I can see why this game gets the quality score. Nerd Stamp. The Nerd Stamp, the triple A game. Can, is this game a game that could go potentially be entertaining to play on the console? This is definitely a game that I can see myself playing on the Switch. Or on, um, you know, back when the PSP came out, I would have definitely played this on the PSP. Heck yeah, I would have played this on the PSP, you know. Any handheld game. So uh, definitely, we're going to go ahead and give this the yes on here. This is definitely a game that I would go like to go ahead and uh, play on some kind of console game. So if this game were, or on your Android also, if this game were to be converted into MV or MZ, then this game can definitely be exported into HTML files. And convert the HTML files to an Android game, an iPhone game. This game would rock on a handheld device. So, uh, yeah, that's this game is definitely a game that I'd love to play on the con on console, handheld devices. This is I'd love to play this on handheld devices. So uh, that is all I got, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a developer and you have a game that you'd like me to play, you can reach out to me at thenerdmansion.com. Or I will leave a bunch of details uh, on the descriptions below, so that uh, links and stuff, so that you. Uh, there's so many ways to contact me there. I will also be leaving the link to this game in the descriptions below. If you want to download this game, I strongly recommend it because if I had fun, you know, I mean, uh, I don't just do this because uh, blah 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 or whatever. I I mean, I want to show these games some love, and this is definitely a game that deserves all the love. So uh, thank you guys all for dropping by. To my subscribers, uh, I love you with all my heart. Thank you guys all for dropping by. And my viewers, you guys are just as awesome. Thank you guys all for uh, viewing this channel. If you like what you see, I strongly suggest that you subscribe so that you can continue to see more of this channel. Uh, because why not, you know, and uh, thank you guys all, everyone, everyone here, everyone watching, thank you guys all.
and uh peace out man uh i will see you guys in the next episode peace